This lesson we learn the circuit has resistors that connect in parallel. First, we take a look at the circuit, and then we learn a formula to find the total resistance of parallel circuit. And then we have one example. In the example, I show you how to apply this formula. So here is that circuit. The circuit has resistor R1, which is this resistor, R2, R3, and all the way to Rn, this resistor, where N is the nth resistor. For example, if N equals to 10, that means the circuit has 10 resistors, and this is the 10th resistor. Of course, a parallel resistor doesn't need to have many resistors connecting parallel. It may have two resistors connecting parallel. So n can be two, three resistors connecting parallel. So n can be three. Uh, let's look at the formula here. This is the formula to find the total resistance of n resistors that connect in parallel. The total resistance is called RT. So this formula is 1 over the total resistance RT equals to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 plus all the way to 1 over Rn. I put the proof of this formula in another video. If you're interested, you can take a look at the other video for this class. Uh, we just need to know how to apply the formula to find the total resistance for n parallel resistor circuit. So let's use this example to see how to apply this formula. The circuit here has three resistors that connect in parallel. R1, which is equal to 1.0 kilo ohm, R2, 2.0 kilo ohm, and R3 that is 4.0 kilo ohm. We want to find the total resistance, RT. Let's write down that formula first. In this case, N equals to three because we have three resistors connecting parallel. So the formula is one over R total equals to one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3 only three terms. And then let's plug in numbers. R1 is 1.0 kilo ohm. R2 is 2.0 kilo ohm. And R3 equals to 4.0 kilo ohm. Use calculator, I got 1.75. Be careful of the unit. This is one over kilo ohm. The reason is I combine these numbers, but this number equals to one over RT instead of RT. So how to get RT? To get RT, we need to flip both sides of the equation. Flipping means bring the denominator to the numerator and bring the numerator to the denominator and for both sides. So RT equals to the reciprocal of 1.75, which is one divided by 1.75. Now the unit is kilo ohm. Use calculator, I got 0 0.57 one four kilo ohm. If you leave the answer here, the answer is right, but we can make it look better by removing the K and bring the decimal to the right three times because K is 1000. That's mean remove the k and then multiply a thousand to this decimal number. So moving the decimal point to the right, one, two, three, that reach here. The number is 571.4 ohm. This is a better answer. It looks better. This number is in engineering notation.